Professional soccer is coming to Omaha. This morning, the Alliance Omaha Soccer Holdings Group announced it will own a team in the United Soccer League. It's USL League One. Reporter Phil Bergman has more on what this means for soccer fans in the state. The new franchise will be a part of the USL One, a league below USL Championship and the MLS. The team is the first professional soccer franchise in the state of Nebraska. Yes, and our team would like to formally welcome you into League One for 2020. Soccer fans, get your scarves ready. The Omaha so Sarpy soccer community has been yearning for a team to call their own. But more importantly, it deserves a team to call their own. And today they get their team. The most popular sport in the world and now is a pro team in Omaha. Omaha is ready for this. Omaha needs this. Uh, but it's time. Today's, today's the day. It's time to have professional soccer in Omaha, Nebraska. Lee gets a touch, still driving in, sends it, and into the back of the net. USL 1 is in its inaugural season. It currently has clubs in cities such as Madison, Chattanooga, and Tucson. USL franchises have not only transformed sports in these cities, but have brought an energy and passion to communities never seen before. Like these other USL cities, we intend for the Omaha Metro to experience this seismic shift. Run by the same ownership group as the Omaha Storm Chasers, the team will share Werner Park for home games. Baseball is America's game, soccer is the world's game. So why not tap into something that's the world's game and that reaches out to a fan base here that we, we haven't tapped into? The millennials, the Latinos, like we have the ability to reach all of Omaha instead of just part of Omaha. Soccer in a baseball stadium sounds like a crazy idea, but it's actually far from out of the ordinary. Of the 16 teams in the Pacific Coast League, seven currently share stadiums with a soccer program. The Storm Chasers will be the eighth, but Omaha will be the first team to do so in USL 1. Uh, it's, not, it's not the Oakland Coliseum, you know, it's, not, it's not the old Qualcomm when you saw the Padres and Chargers flip back and forth and they did nothing to the dirt. No, the, the, the baseball skin will be, will be covered. The team is planning to kick off play in 2020. As of now, there's still no team name, no logo, no schedule, and no uniforms. Reporting inside Werner Park, Phil Bergman, 3 News Now. The team also named former UNO coach Jay Mims as its head coach. Sports director Adam Kruger will have more on Coach Mims' return to Omaha tonight in sports.